Well, I guess I have to start this video a little different than I normally do. Normally, I try and hype you up about what's coming, but it's been so long since I made a video on this particular subject. I guess I gotta remind you of where we've been. What I've decided to do is a video series of how I would handle DC characters for DC films. I have a story revolving around Lois Lane. I'm going to flesh it out with story beats and a fan casting that's put to a vote on my Instagram story. So far, we've fancasted Lizzie Kaplan as Lois Lane in a story that sees her investigate a missing scientist, a scientist by the name of Karen Beecher. If that name doesn't ring a bell, that's okay. It's a character that goes on to be a superhero called Bumblebee. She's had all sorts of adventures as a Teen Titan and a member of the Doom Patrol. She gets a spotlight on Young Justice as well. If you haven't seen that show, I urge you to watch it. It's very good. I think that it's impossible for comic fans like me to hear the name Karen Beecher or Bumblebee and not think of Mel Duncan. They're very much a package deal, like Iris West and Barry, Ollie and Dinah, Lois and Clark, but you don't hear about these two very much. I myself didn't know much about Mel Duncan until I saw him on Young Justice. So making him like the co-star of my story was my way of paying it forward or backward, however you want to say it, to the producers of Young Justice because... What they did made me love the character so much. I hope by the end of my story, you'll have a love for the character. Maybe you'll want to go back to the old comics or the TV shows like Teen Titans or Young Justice and invest some of your time there. But before all that, before I can get into more of my story, we need to cast Mal Duncan. And before I could do that, honestly, I should give you more information on the character. He made his first appearance in Teen Titans number 26, released in April of 1970. And while this seems pretty late to me, he carries the prestige of being DC's first African-American superhero. The character has gone through quite a few evolutions over the years. He's had various powers, secret IDs, as both a member of the Teen Titans and the Doom Patrol. And for a time, he was in possession of the fabled mystical Gabriel's Horn, but sadly, more often than not, his character development has been undone by various crises and continuity. The only good thing about that is that it gives creators like Brandon Vietti and Greg Wiseman different places to pull from when they're incorporating Mal into their stories. The character is a real delight in how down-to-earth he is. His honest-to-goodness love for Karen. I think it's already obvious that that's the thing I keyed into when I was putting the story together. So that's really the bare bones of the character's published background. What follows is a bio for the character as he appears in my story, lovingly pulled from different parts of the source material. Malcolm Arnold Duncan spent part of his childhood in the shadow of the Daily Planet Globe, on the streets of Metropolis, in a neighborhood known as Suicide Slum. His family moved around a bit, a few years in Metropolis, a few years in Happy Harbor. No matter where they called home, family life was happy which made it easy for Mal to make friends and the most of each environment he was in. They finally settled in San Francisco. He spent his spare time learning new sports. Football, boxing, basketball, anything that would present him with a new challenge. He excelled at all of them, which is why his graduating class named him Best All-Around Athlete. Upon earning a full scholarship to Ivy Town University's Olympic boxing program, he proposed to his high school sweetheart, Karen Beecher. The move to Ivy Town will prove to be a spectacular challenge for both of them. And now for the actual fan casting side of things. What's needed for the role is someone young. Not teenage, young adult. Someone who has humble family man in their wheelhouse. I think I've found two actors who can do that. And much more with the role of Mal Duncan. Your first choice is Eli Gore. His resume includes Ballers, Riverdale, The 100, and most recently, One Night in Miami, where he played Muhammad Ali. The next choice is Justin Cornwell, who's an accomplished actor in his own right, with roles in television shows such as I Am the Night, The In-Between, and Training Day. Both are fine choices, and I can see either one doing a stellar job stepping into the shoes of Mel Duncan. But as always, I leave the power of casting in your hands. Thanks for watching and be sure to head over to my Instagram story and be ready to vote.